This is a GTX 1070 that I just picked up off a of Facebook Marketplace for 70 bucks. Is it worth it in 2025? Well, let's find out. Oh, well, sorry about that. For some reason, my microphone that I'm trying to use, I, I'm... <laughs> The audio is not going to be as good now since my microphone died in the middle of me trying to look up the page for the due to the summary bag I just installed. So yeah guys, so I just installed it. I'm not going to put the screws on the graphics card mainly because my other graphics card that I have originally installed was going to be on this build that I'm selling off of Java and Facebook Marketplace. So yeah, the specs that I'm running on this system is a Ryzen 7 5700 32GB of RAM, which is DDR4 3200MHz, 1TB NDME, and a 650 watt Corsair, I believe an RMX 650, fully modular power supply. So yeah guys, let me get it hooked up to my capture card, and I'll see you guys once I'm there. Alright, so let me go ahead and flip my HDMI switcher and then turn on this PC. Hey, let's go. Now, it, now it actually boots up. And now I'm going to use DDU. Where is it at? Come on. Oh, I'm gonna get my flash drive. Okay, so now I'm going to get up my flash drive. Nah, I was wrong about that. I thought I had DDU inside of my flash drive. No big deal, I'm going to Microsoft Edge. Actually, I'm gonna change my mouse stickers because it's kind of small. Because I'm blind, as my YouTube channel stands for. Blind tech, I'm black. Make it bigger. Now I see a bit better. And now I'm gonna grab an Nvidia driver, GTX 1070. And now I'm going for the Windows 11 version. Hit find. This one. All right, so now I'm gonna hit up this one. And now I'm going to my downloads folder, hit extract all. Yes, and then one to the year. Clean and restart. See how it goes, and I'll see you guys once I get back into my games. I'll see you guys soon in my next clip. All right, so now the driver is done. All right, guys, so I'm in Minecraft Java Edition, which, which I do have Fabric plus Sodium and Iris, Iris mod, and I have the uh, complementary sodas. Right now, I'm hovering around 60 to 70 FPS, which is really not that bad. So, let me go ahead and punch the tree. Oh, oh, wow, okay. When I'm, when I'm facing up, trying to hit the tree, I'm getting like around 117 FPS, which is, which is not much happen, not much happen in the sky, compared to we to see all those blocks and trees. Alright guys, so I decided not to talk while I'm playing the game, so for right now, I'm just gonna let you guys see the 1% lows and, you know, all this information that you guys might need, considering the graphics card that I'm using on this video, so yeah. So enjoy the benchmark that I've been doing for the past couple hours of trying to make this video.
guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. So, yeah, this graphics card is pretty capable of 1080p gaming when it comes to eSports Tiger and some of the AAA games. I mean, not the newer ones that came out in the last 4 or 5 years, but at least this thing will be found with Marvel Rivals, Fortnite, all that stuff here that I've been benchmarking on the video, including the new game called Splitgate 2, which is probably one of my favorite games that just came out this year. So, the model I have is the Gigabyte 2 fan model, and I know it has 8 gigabytes of VRAM. As long as you keep your expectations down, you should be fine with whatever you're doing with this graphics card, and you could do some streaming or video editing with it too. And I do have a, I do have another video planned for this graphics card, so stay tuned for that. Also, subscribe to this channel, turn on the notifications, so you guys don't miss none of the videos that I'll be uploading in the future. Toss a like if you enjoyed it. And if you guys want to contact me or my audience on this channel, I do have a Discord server linked in the description below, so you guys can join. It's free. Peace.